All right, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, is Grace Tutor, and what I do is solve technical drawing problems and also provide necessary information that you can make use of for you to have a better performance in your technical drawing examination. And if you're a technical drawing student, I want to appreciate you for watching this video, and I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be uh, notified. And help me to share my videos with your friends, and don't forget to practice this subject a practical subject you need to practice it for you to master it for you to be able to solve any problems that comes to you when it's come to technical drawing now this problem that we have uh, you have been on the screen is a question that i want to solve and it has to do with the use of the principles of tangency and um before i begin to solve it let me explain some things about it as you can see on the screen about the dimensions as we have here that we have here we have five buses diameter 25 millimeters that means these five circles that we have here diameter of each one of them is 25 millimeters and then we have that the distance between the center line of these circles and this circle the distance is 45 millimeters and then we also have that the radius of this arc is 40 millimeters the same thing applies to this and this and this one so 40 millimeters for each of them and then the diameter of this small circle is 32 millimeters of this big circle is 50 millimeters and then the radius of this arc the radius of this arc which is for the uh, we call it pitch circle or pitch arc as we have here so the radius is 60 millimeters and then as we have here that the angle at which the center line of this arc of the sorry of this circle the center line of this circle and the center line of this circle is the angle at which this line is inclined to this horizontal center line is 15 millimeters as we see here so what we have here and then what we have here the distance between the center line of this circle and this circle is 75 millimeters so what we, what we actually have here is very simple so let's look at how we can solve this problem so the first thing that you need to do is for you to draw a vertical center line so draw a vertical center line so i'm showing it here then so let's So here we draw horizontal center line here and then i'm going to take um 75 by 2 that will give us 37.5 so 37.5 millimeters so i will take 37.5 millimeters so let me use my compass to do that so 37.5 millimeters okay so this is 37.5 millimeters so i put it here so i make an arc here now i make an arc here okay so i will draw a vertical center line here and here i will do the same thing vertical center line okay then I will take a measurement of 40 millimeters from this center line, a measurement of 40 millimeters up. So this is 40 millimeters. Then I will draw a center line here. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I want to draw these circles here. I want to draw these circles here and the circles here before I move on to do it. Okay, but before that, let me draw the pitch circle. So the radius of that is 60 millimeters. I will take a measurement of 60 millimeters and I will draw. So put it at the center here and I will draw the pitch arc. So take it easy. All right, so... Um, I'm going to extend this line, this horizontal center line. All 
Alright, so with what I've done here, so the next thing I'm going to do is to draw the circles. But before that, don't forget that we have this line, this line, which is the center line of this circle, it is inclined at an angle 15 degree to this horizontal line, to this horizontal line. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So with my protractor, so set my protractor on this center line here, on this point, where the horizontal and vertical center line intersect. So I put it here. Now we take 15 millimeters. So this is uh, 10 and this is 15 here. This is 15 millimeter, sorry, 15 degree. That's 15 degree, not millimeters. 15 degree, it's an angle. So I'm going to draw a center line through this. All right, so I've gotten that. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to draw the circles. So the inner circle at the center here, the diameter is 32, the radius is 16 millimeters. So I will take 16 millimeters, put it at the center here, and I will draw a circle like this okay so the outer one so the diameter is 50 the radius is 25 so take 25 millimeters so put it at the center here and we draw the circle like this all right so and then so the small small circles that we have so the radius is diameter is 25 the radius is 12.5, so I will take 12.5 millimeters. So 12.5 millimeters. So this is 12.5, so I put at this point and draw a circle. Uh, Okay, I will draw this circle. So draw this circle. Okay, and then I'll put it here. Draw a circle. Then I'll put it here. And I will draw a circle. So I have to take it easy. So I will put it here. And I will draw a circle. Then, last one, I'll put it here. Circle that, that I drew here is not correct. So I need to repeat what I did here. I need to repeat it on this side. I'm sorry for that. All right, so, um, so that's 15 degree. So I will take it on this side also. So 15 degree. So this is 15. So I will draw a line through this from the center here. All right, so this is where I will put my compass to draw the circle. All right. All right, next thing that we have to do here is to, so I'm going to draw this line. So this is just a straight line to connect these two circles together. To connect these two circles together, so just a straight 
line is a tangent to these circles. All right, so I've connected them. So then we need to connect this together. So what we just need to do here is very simple. So all we need to do is to perform a simple calculation, just one calculation for all of them. So, um, so the radius of this circle is 12.5 and the radius of this is 12.5. So, and this arc, this arc, it touch the, or these circles, they touch this arc externally. They touch this arc externally. So just perform one calculation. So here we have what we have. Um, so as we have here, that the radius of this arc is 40 millimeters. It's 40 millimeters. So all I need to do is to calculate. So I just call it Rx, uh, which is equal to. So I have 40 plus 12.5. And this is equal to 52.5. So that's all I need. So 52.5. So I will take a measurement of 52.5 on my ruler. So 52.5. So this is 52.5. So I put it at the center here and I make an arc here. Make an arc here. So I put it here. And I make an arc here. So, and I will do the same thing here. So, put it at the center here. So, make an arc. So, here I will turn it here. And then I will put it at the center here. Okay. I have to be careful with that. So, putting it at the center here. So, you make an arc. Then I will make an arc here. Like this. Then I will put it here and I make an arc. All right, so those are the points that we are going to make use of to obtain or uh, to draw the tangent. So just take a measurement of 40 millimeters now as the radius of the arc. 40 millimeters you put at the center at this, at this point here and you touch this and you turn it like this. So that's it. Then you put it here. Put it here and you draw. You can see the way I'm joining it together. Very simple. And then you put it here. So put it here and you draw. Then the last one, so you put it here and you draw this. Alright, so it's as simple as I've shown it here. All you need to do is to practice. This is the given uh, object, as you can see here, and what we have here is as we have it in the given diagram. All you need to do to, to do is to practice, as I've said. When, once you practice and you make use of the principle of tangency, as I've shown it here, you will surely get it. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. God bless you.